Do you guys got any questions? Yeah. Okay, shoot. So how, how does this one feel? I mean, um, you know, I mean, it's just so awesome to see the look on those kids' face and our staff and uh, our fans. I thought we had a tremendous group of people up here today, a lot of family. And, um, you know, I, I don't know that it's fully sunk in for me yet, uh, but I know it's important. And we knew it was important going in, and I think we had the right mindset and the right level of focus, and just extremely proud of our kids. I mean, Montana's a good football team, and you could see they were kind of making that run there. We were a little fatigued on defense, and there was a lot of times during the course of the year this year where those things started to happen. Our offense didn't pick our defense up, or our defense wasn't able to withstand the tide there. And, uh, you know, today they had that little extra in their tank, and that's awesome. Take us inside that timeout there and, and the decision to make that call. Well, I, I didn't hesitate. I mean, I, I said, you know, run it. And uh, it's, I mean, literally, we practice it every week. And so um, it's something that's been a part of our package all the way back from the Idaho prep week. And just it's kind of one of those deals where it's got to be the right situation. And, uh, and Chris actually told Coach Miller that, I don't know if I like that. And I kind of said, whatever, Chris, we're running it. And so it worked. Um, and and he, even, even more awesome was that he got tackled on the one. And we could run the clock out. That's a that's a feeling I just love as a coach. Being around this week, it seemed like you guys had a lot of confidence. How are you able to carry that over from the week of practice into this game? I think preparation is what it, is what always is going to give you that level of confidence. And so, um, you know, I think I really do think the win against UC Davis was 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 super important because there were some things that took place in that game. And in fact, there were some parallels between that game and today's game. If you just simply look at the bottom line, which is we ran the ball very well and and control the line of scrimmage. I mean, they got their show negative plays because that's what they do on defense. But we were able to, to consistently move the ball and break some explosive runs. And um, we did not turn the ball over. And they did. And obviously, that was a huge difference in the game. Even though we didn't get points off that takeaway, just the emotion and the, and the momentum that that provides and our ability to kind of just hang in there and make plays when we had to make plays. Can you talk about that last drive in particular? I think six plus minutes. It was awesome. Yeah, I mean, for us not to, with, with where we're at defensively, we got to give the ball back to them. You just don't know. We're fatigued, and we played played a, a pretty good amount of plays, and we're starting to lose some guys. <laughs> and uh, for our offense to step up, that's what good teams do. When one phase is struggling, the other phase picks them up. And I felt like we did that last week against Davis. And obviously, I mean, you can't put together a better drive than that. I mean, you can't. Game on the line, rivalry game, tremendous atmosphere, and we grind it out. And uh, I think that bodes well for our future with the style that we want to play and the level of intensity that we're going to bring to the table. Did you have that big play, Jeff? How did you rally the troops defensively and play so well the rest of the half? Are you talking about the, 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 the hitch and go and the yeah. very first offensive play of the game? They're going to make plays. I mean, I, you know, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't flinch on that one. I mean, you know, you're frustrated. Hey, it was a good call, well executed, good throw by, by Gustafson, really nice route. and. Uh, Let's go see if they can do it again. That's what it amounts to. And you know they hit a couple. They got those two vertical passes: the one for the touchdown, and the one down the left-hand sideline, in the uh, or the press box side in the, in the second and the first half. And really, other than that, they didn't do a lot. Um, now, what the, I thought they did a nice job of was kind of leaning on us a little bit in the second half as we started to get fatigued. They just kind of stuck to the run game, and I thought that was wise, and I thought it played out well for them. Um, but I, I, I really think that we did a great job of mixing coverages. Our kids in the back end. Um, Louis McGee was a guy that I was very concerned about going into this game, and our ability to, to contain him somewhat I think was very crucial. Um, and like I said, they're a good team, and, and they have good players. You talk about Chris Murray's performance just throughout the game, the way he, he played as a true freshman out there. Yeah, I think, well, you know, 26 rushes for 177 yards, lost some yards, whatever. Um, we're a very amazing passing team, two of nine for 37 yards. But who cares, you know? And then I think that's what we found out is who we are, and that was something that we were struggling for for a while on offense was what our identity was. And when Chris became the guy, um, you know, it was obvious that with Chad and Gunner and and Nick and and Chris, there's four guys potentially that you've got to defend in the run game. That you know you can create explosives in the run game as well. And I thought uh, Courtney and, and and Brian Armstrong, our offensive line coach, and um, you know those guys did an awesome job. Michael Petrie with the running backs, and those you know a lot of those explosive runs were because. Matt Miller had our receivers blocking like crazy down the field. And so it's a total team effort. And I think Chris is starting to mature. And you know, there's a lot of work for him to do because you can see if you got to defend him as a passer, it's going to be a real problem for people in this league. Because now you're going to be max dropping and you're going to be putting guys in, 
in different situations, and then when he takes off, he's even got more room. Is there anything specific you saw that made you think you could run the ball like you guys did today, or was it just a matter of blocking and executing? They have a tendency to play a lot of, in a lot of two-point stances. Pad level is one of the most important fundamentals of football. And so I don't care how good you are, if you're going to play in a two-point, you're not going to have great pad level. And uh, we were able to hit a lot of our quarterback runs in those situations. And I thought Courtney did a really good job of not being afraid to run the ball, call runs on third and six plus. And uh, that played out for us. How tough was it when, when Matt went down in the fourth quarter, especially given he's here? Did he have a message sir, for his guys? I, you know, I mean, it, obviously it's kind of next man up at that point. I was, you know, we'd lost Bryson the drive before, and then Matt goes down. And so you're kind of going, okay. We got to reel this thing in a little bit, and that's where I was just so proud of our offense. I think they almost felt it like these guys don't have a lot of bullets left in their gun. Let's go do what we got to do to win this, and they did. And I know it was a special moment for Matt to be, a, you know, obviously it's unfortunate that he had an injury, but you know he was our team captain today, one of our game captains, and uh, you know was a tremendous member of this program. And he's going to go out as a Grizzlayer, which is pretty awesome. Montana also runs so many plays. You guys got the play count down a lot. How are you guys able to do that aside from just time? I think that was a big key. And we had a lot of three and outs. You know, I thought there was, some, there was two things in the game that I think are maybe a little bit, uh, you know, maybe overlooked. They swung and got field position at, a, at midway through, basically the third quarter, really. Um, and we had it kind of in the first half. We were able to turn that, that short field into points, and, and they weren't. And I thought that was critical. Obviously, the fourth down stop, you look back in hindsight, that's one of the biggest plays in the game. And... Uh, you know, just tremendously proud of our guys. Did a tremendous job. Given the struggles through the air, why were you so sure on that call there at the end? Well, I'd love to say I'm always that sure, but it was a good call into what they had shown us earlier in that formation. And, you know, if we, if we get it, the game's over. So, you know, if it doesn't work, you guys are asking me different questions maybe. But... Uh, Ty O'Connor came in and talked to our team this week. And he, had a, he had an interesting thing to say about uh, there's two ways to live your life. I won't share the rest of the story with you, but Ty wouldn't probably shake my hand if I hadn't made that call. Did you see Chris slip a little bit when he on that? It's part of the play. <laughs> <laughs> Is this just the culmination of the whole season, you know, all the ups and downs and, you know, finally peaking at the right time and, you know, kind of cleaned up the turnover thing starting last week. And yeah, well, I mean, hey, we're a four and seven ball club. That's who we are. We won a game today, and that's an important game and, and uh, certainly means a lot to our alumni and, and, and to our program and to the state of Montana. But I'm not naive enough to think that we're, we've, we've arrived. The work is starting now. And, uh, you know, we're sending a, a, a tremendous group of seniors, some of those leaders that we're going to miss. But hopefully these guys paid attention and not paid attention today but paid attention when things weren't going correctly and to see how these guys handled themselves as men and pushed through the adversity. And in the short run, you get what you get. In the long run, you get what you deserve. I thought <laughs> it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. doesn't surprise me. And I know, uh, you know he's a very good defensive coach and has been one of the best defensive coaches in this league for a while and had nothing to do with the fact that he was at the University of Montana. And, and when, when, when I asked him to come on board here, it was because I felt like he was one of the better guys. And I knew we had ground to make up in that phase. And uh, we're going to continue to get better there.